this with the Northwest Progressive Institute, does not believe that signature gatherers should be protected because in her opinion, the people collecting signatures right now are just plain old wrong. Let's get to it in our segment, Unbelievable. <laughs> All right, so in addition to me testifying in behavior, behavior in favor of this bill that would protect signature gatherers, um, House Bill 2205, there were a few other people. I wanted to play before I get to the bad one. Bad, just a little unhinged. Um, this nice, pleasant woman who signed up to testify in favor and was like the sweetest woman. I was sitting there like, oh, I love her. Here it is. They encourage people to sign up. It's not uh, do it or else ever. Um, I've, my experience has been that they encourage them to do it and a simple no thanks a lot of times will do that. I believe will, from what I've seen at my own individual Walmart does the trick very nicely. I'm all for this bill and I, I really love seeing, seeing this happen. I think it's important that the, this process, this initiative, initiative process continue to be encouraged. Yeah, and she was responding to sort of accusations that maybe the signature gatherers are too aggressive. And she says, not at my Walmart. A simple no thank you does just fine. And she likes to continue to see the initiative process move forward. So I wanted to play that in part because I wanted you to compare her nice, pleasant argument about liking the initiative process to this argument from a representative with the Northwest Progressive Institute. Good afternoon, Chair Ramos, uh, members of the committee. My name is Kathy Sakahara. I'm speaking to you today on behalf of Northwest Progressive Institute and also as a longtime uh, activist in the democratic process and protecting uh, democracy. I'm speaking here in opposition to this bill for exactly some of the reasons that other folks have spoken in favor of it. Freedom of speech. The bill starts by saying it protects citizens participating in the initiative process. But even as your staff person mentioned, and all the discussion has been, and the bill refers to only people collecting signatures. There's another way to participate in the process, and that is to share with someone who is considering signing a petition what I believe to be the truth, what somebody believes to be true. There's been references to the fact we have a buffer zone around voting centers. That's completely unrelated. Voting centers, the buffer zone does not apply to party X, but allows party Y. It does not say if you're paid by a billionaire to do something, you can say whatever you want, but if you're motivated only by compassion and love and concern for your fellow human beings, you can't speak at all. <laughs> I do with that. Where do I even start? Oh, the sanctimony. Yeah. So first of all, this law wouldn't apply to only conservatives who want to collect signatures. Initiatives have been run by progressives in the past. There was a successful gun control initiative just a couple years ago, as an example. But the sentiment there that the people collecting, we, we should be able to yell at and harass them. We should be able to go up to people and try to convince them not to sign because the people collecting signatures are just people who are being paid by a, a billionaire. And we, on our side, we're motivated by love and, and compassion and truth. So, yeah, we should be able to harass people. No big deal. Unreal. Here uh, she goes. She continues. Quite simply, this bill prohibits speech. I had an experience once where I heard someone saying incredibly vile things about gay people, and I interrupted, and I corrected, and my three-year-old daughter actually said, please stop saying that. You're hurting people I love. That would have been, pro that would be prohibited. <laughs> so again, her whole argument is based off of she's right, they're wrong. Not, you know, hey, we need to protect democracy here. By the way, her it's not prohibiting speech. It's saying you've got to do it 25 feet away. You can't come up and harass these people just like you couldn't come up and harass someone who is dropping off their ballot. You would never advocate for that. But because you believe you have the moral high ground that you are morally superior to people who might be out and about collecting initiatives on a variety of topics, that you have a right to harass them. <laughs> Uh, if that doesn't tell you everything you need to know about the Northwest Progressive Institute, I don't know what will. Also, I, I will note quickly, another person who signed up in opposition to this bill was Lorena Gonzalez, who's the lobbyist for the ACLU, former Seattle City Council president who ran for mayor. 
again, it, we've talked about this before, it is insane that the American Civil Liberties Union is signing up against a bill that would protect our democratic process. And it's only because they know that by and large, the people who are pushing these initiatives and referendums are pushing back against progressive policies. Mm -hmm.